Well, guys, this is the 70s roleplay. Um, 70s slash 80s, I don't know. In that range. Because there's some stuff I have that's like 2000s, but I'm thinking that we're just going to say it's going to be a 70s. But right here we have our 6600 side hill, 6 row corn head unloading onto me. He's empty. I'm going to go empty that. And as you can see, over there, there's my other combine. My other 6600 side hill. Ignore that it's February 9th. I don't know what went on with farm sim when I planted. But that's what had happened. So I don't know what happened. Um, no idea. So, and also $32 million. I, I, I had that much when I started, but my bank account's all messed up and everything so we're in a process here in a while it'll be a little less i do not have 32 million dollars it'd be nice but i don't so this is one of our wagon rigs that we are going to be using uh, a lot to haul our grain with um this has only got one wagon i'm pulling behind the other set's got two wagons i'm pulling behind and then we're going to try to do some bailing on wheat um we're just going to try to. And we have a drill. And we have a planter. I'll have to eventually show, show that to you guys. But this is taking forever to unload. Um, so yeah. I uh, Mind you, this trailer is like a 2000. I just, that's the only trailer in the game. And I want to be able to carry seed and stuff around. So that's the one for now. Um, I want to keep this tractor. It's got a sprayer on it. That's the tractor we thought would be the greatest because, well, any other tractors, I mean, that one probably would, but I want to try to keep that on there. I have not bailed anything. I plan to store it here or over in that one, which I just have tillage in to usually keep it. And the other, other part of it, sometimes I'll put this farm off in there. But right now, we're just going to take and move the farm off over into here. Now, mind you, there's a pit here, so... It's really tight having those there because of lots of reasons. I just wish this was a wide front because I know I go to oh. And like I said, that's going to be there for a while. Guess you're going to have to do something with that. So this is our planting rig. Well, today because I don't have any other tractors available because I get harvest done and then planting. I don't know why. But Farmstone decided this is when I need to plant. So, I have another cornfield here. I had two cornfields. This is my bean field. Um, and this, that's my other cornfield. Then I have two wheat fields. And the field I just came from, I planted a corn again. I'm going to try to keep the same crop in it for two years, two growing seasons. And then, yeah. Um... I gotta do something real quick on the uh, little thing here. Let's see, it'll be fine there. Um, let's see, let's do that. Okay. It, I just took and I'm gonna get I, my farm all needed some work, so I had somebody come in. They're going to, somebody's going to come and get it while we're busy doing stuff. I would like to plow it, but I'm not going to have time. I'm just going to set it here because I'd like to just plant the field when I do it. Um, right now we have... i got to remember what tractors are. Right now we have to take and hop into the... Not that one. This one. That one's there, like, if I just want to set one, I'm just going to... If he's at 80%, by the time I get to him, he's usually at 90. So, it usually fills it up. There's probably, like, 20% left. It's not worth it, so... When we have the tractors, we do try to keep everyone's kind of separate. It is kind of wasting fuel, but... It's... It's just a little easier because usually I only have one header of each. I only have one header for beans and I only have one header for fruit. 
more than likely, unless we get too many hours on the other one, we'll probably just keep on the same crop. Of course, he's gonna be full, and I don't want him to be full. I'm gonna have to go jump into Jerry and tell him to stop. I'm gonna have to back him out into this area. Yeah, so, I mean, I would like to do the work, but I have some neighbors that are willing to help me, and I pay them pretty good, so they usually help me harvest, because I don't think I could do it by myself. It just, it would take too long, but... Why did it just unload that much so quick? Oh my god, like already 30 or something? My eight. I just want to say, these, these little wagons are small. They make these new ones. Um, I saw it on, uh, my, on, uh, in somebody's yard that they are selling this, they're just selling this in their yard. That's, no, that's not the one. Um, I gotta remember where it is. Um, they're selling these bigger ones, but my thing is, our auger's like this high, so I don't think we could get another really extension, unless if we're gonna have the auger out all the time I just don't think that it's gonna work for us so unless we upgrade combines in the next couple years we might um but I don't know we don't have too many acres I think we'll be okay yet for a while I have to get Jimmy back to work whatever his name is I don't know one of them's Jimmy and one of them's something who knows I hear me call them lots of names. I just call them lots of names. Who knows what their name is anymore? Alright, out back in my tractor. Um, so yeah, we do have a grain bin set up. It's an older grain bin set up. It's probably about 10 years old. It's not old, old, but it's not new. And for the acres we have, I think I've dumped like a total of six wagons in there. Probably, I don't know. Something like that. Maybe I don't know. It just we don't have that much acres. Yeah, so eventually I do plan to get cattle. That is gonna be a huge step in our farm. Um, that'll definitely make it busier than what it is right now. Um, but I don't know. I think after a while we'll get into the hang of it and we'll actually. Be okay with it? It just it kind of depends. I just don't like to deal with cows that, you know, do everything everywhere they go. Like they can do it whenever they want. Um, but it would do some nutrients for the crops, and I really don't have to pay for the nutrients. I mean, I do. I have to pay for the cattle that I get it when I get it. Well, not for a start, but after, you really don't have to pay anything. You basically get money back. By the time you sell them and everything, so yeah, so that's the future plans. Um, as of the buildings, we have three buildings. Um, they're probably 80s model, I don't know, but we're probably gonna upgrade in future years. Um, three's pretty small for us. I mean. Because usually nothing's really in the shed. I've always got something out doing something. But, um, yeah, so this is going to be the end of the video for today. If you enjoyed it, we'll probably have more. So, we will see you guys in the next one.